Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street NOLA, and I'm here to talk about Twelfth Night. It is the day, today is, is the epiphany. It is January 6th this year, um, and Twelfth Night slash the epiphany, or here in New Orleans, they also call it King's Day, is the twelfth day after Christmas. So many of us are familiar with the song, The Twelfth the twelve days of Christmas, so that was written about uh, this time. Um, now it can be a little iffy, um, depending on what you believe. So some people believe the twelve days of Christmas starts at um, the solstice, the winter solstice, and brings us into the new year. Um, but in the Catholic uh, tradition, and most likely Episcopalian because they're pretty close. Um, Twelfth night starts either the 25th or 26th and then is 12 days after. And so what this day marks is that the three wise men or the wise men, they don't know. This is where it gets kind of dicey, but it, they just roll with it. Um, the wise men either heard that baby Jesus was born or, you know, God incarnate was born or they actually la laid eyes on the baby. No one really knows for sure. Um, some people believe like this is the day they got the message and um, it sparked that hope um, in the world that a new beginning was here. Um, and so then they went on their voyage and other people believe this is the day that they laid eyes on uh, the actual baby. So the three wise men or the wise men, we know, as, as far as we know from the stories, three found the baby. Um, they were astronomers. And so they knew at this time, the way the stars were, that it was the begin, it was marking a new beginning. So last year when we had the kissing stars, when, um, and they called them the Christmas stars, when, um, Jupiter and Saturn met and made that one star, you know, they were calling it the Christ star. It was the same idea. So, you know, to me, that ushered in the age of Aquarius, right? And to the wise men, when they saw the, the way the stars aligned, they knew something new was beginning. Okay. And that is why some people say that's when they put Jesus at that time. That's why he was born at that time, because then it aligned with the stars. You know, I don't know. These are all you know, what you believe is what you believe. Um, <clears throat> and maybe, you know, that did usher in the age of Pisces. That's why a lot of times, you know, Jesus is synonymous with the sign of the fish, right? Because the fish is Pisces. So, um, you know, a lot of this does go together. So at the same time, um, details can be a little fuzzy. <laughs> Whether, it, you know, they saw the baby, they didn't see the baby, it was actually the baby, all those things. Uh, the same, but the idea is that it brought in this, what we now call Christ consciousness, right? And to me, Christ consciousness is the idea of, of love and healing and, you know, loving your neighbor you know, being accepted, but, you know, accepting um, yourself, accepting others. At the same time, it is the teaching that we are all God, that the divine is within every single one of us. We are just born that way. It is our innate way of being. Um, obviously, that story has been a little bastardized over the years for other people's political gains, correct? Um, so... Also, just let that be known, like when I talk about that Christ consciousness, it is that idea that we are all of source, we are all of the divine, we all have that divine within us, and um, luckily on the earth, we are really waking up to that. You know, when Jesus was here, you know, you think things suck now, it really sucked when he was here, okay? Um, you know, at the same time, it sparked that a divine awakening the exact same kind of a divine awakening that we're going now as a planet. Okay. And so, um, I think that's just kind of a uh, important to remember. So it's not very different from at that time where people wanted to rule, you know, have complete rulership over other people, kind of, you know, the same today, right? It's just that it comes in different ways with levels of consciousness, right? And so now that we are in the age of Aquarius, 
it's coming we're all striving to reach a new consciousness which i understand i'm kind of deviating from the whole um idea of just kind of telling you what the epiphany is but it, it's that it is that epiphany right um the new spark is here um a new teaching is here that idea so this is really one of my favorite days of the year um so i encourage everyone just to go within and you know connect with their inner light and their inner divine and um maybe contemplate what does christ consciousness mean to you and if you don't believe in that you know just what sort of source consciousness what is that um how does that resonate with you and how can that be shown in in you in your life every day be a good to yourself a good steward to yourself and, and a good steward to others and it starts small because it starts within you but then when it's within you and it becomes stable you know it changes the world really it changes the world um energy is a real thing vibrations are real thing so happy epiphany um happy king's day happy uh, 12th night this means there's king cakes falling out of the wazoo here in new orleans so be sure to um put your orders in if you like you know this is the start and then we go up until um fat tuesday and then we hit lint baby so um, i wish everyone a joyous and um just happy carnival season right we're in it we're in it to win it so we've got all the way until march um pace yourselves <laughs> I'm just as excited as everyone else when the king cake comes out. So um, I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see each other soon.